Okay, we're recording now. Tara, you're in charge of letting Alex know how to put blue paint on the top. Okay, thumbs up. Thank you. So I've got my yellow part here. And I'm going to grab some yellow right on top, or grab some white and right on top, come in here and blend the two together. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, will you go put uh, the cats in my room, please? All right, all the animals are now sequestered. Come on, Bromley. <laughs> That's right. Let's see, I think I want it to just be a little bit lighter. I'll add some more white to the top. Hey Lauren, I have a question. Okay. Oh, I'm I missed after the um blue and then adding the white to the blue, did you just go in with straight yellow or did you add anything to the yellow? I just came in with straight yellow down here and now I'm just kind of adding white to it to kind of change, like make it not so harsh. So I'm just okay. going right on top with some white. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Lauren? Yes? How do you meet the blue without turning it green? A lot of white. You're welcome. I was here. You can kind of play together. You can see it's kind of, you kind of scrub it and mix it a little bit to blend it. And then if you don't like your line, you can go back in and kind of play between the two, but you just do a little bit at a time. So if you hold your brush kind of flat against the surface, kind of like this, like this, I'm holding it flat, parallel with it, but then you can kind of come in, use that edge, and clean up that line. And it helps clean up your transition a little bit. And then like I said, you can come back in, a little bit of white, Soften it up a little bit. And if it starts to mix too much, you can always just clean up your brush and go back in fresh. Just a little bit more white. Clean this up. And then, if your yellow down here is dry, what you can do is just make sure your brush is nice and clean. And do thin coat down here that we will then use to blend our orange. If it's turning green, clean your brush. Use white. <laughs> okay. And then continuing with our color wheel, we know that red and yellow make orange. Grab my, my lid. Put that on my palette. Nice and clean brush. And I'm just going to grab some red right on top. I'll kind of go underneath here and start blending into my yellow. It's 
So similar to the blue, if this is looking a little pinky to you, you can put one coat down, let it dry, and then come back over it, and we will deepen that up. You won't see as much as the can of the canvas showing through. So I'm just going over top, layering my two colors. My yellow dried up on me again. So what I can do, so that I don't have this harsh line right here, is I can just grab some yellow right on my brush, same brush, didn't clean it or anything. And I'm just gonna come in and kind of blend this line a little bit. Now you gotta be careful because the red will overpower the yellow for sure. So you can wipe this off nice and clean, or you know, just wipe off the extra paint. And then come in kind of heavy handed with the yellow on top. And then as always, if you want a lighter color orange, you can then come in with some white over top of it to kind of lighten it up. So what I'll do is I'm going to clean this. Grab some white. You say? I said, no wonder my painting instructor hated me. Why? I just don't follow directions. Well, you don't have to follow them. You're more than welcome to do to no, I should. your own shebang. I should, but no, because it ain't it ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> I should follow your instructor. Oh, yeah. I am we have to be positive. I am positive. positive. I'm positive that he hated me. I'm positive <laughs> that I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for all the paint that I'm getting on this table. Lauren. Yes. Why is yours so dark in the bottom of the red? What what did I miss? This right here? Yeah. It's just the the lighting. It's just Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, just the silver thing. More yeah. red paint down here than the other parts do. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey Lauren. Hey. 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 I miss I just got my red down and I missed what you did to make kind of the orange in between. Did you you cleaned your brush and then used white? No, uh, I'm using um, red and yellow to make my orange. Okay. It'll be kind of like a, a darker orange. So if you want it to be lighter, that's when you can come in with the white and add the white on top of it. Okay. So if you see, I just put some yellow down, Sarah. Yeah. I'm putting some yellow down and then I'm gonna come in with my white on top of that. So I'll, I'll kind of wipe this off. My brush is still kind of dirty. I'm grabbing some white. And I'll just go right on top of that because I want it to be kind of like a lighter orange. Not so much of a primary kind of yellow, yellow orange. Well, orange isn't a primary color, but I don't want it to be so harsh and yellow. Does that make sense? I see a head nod. I saw you. <laughs> and then Nicole, I was, mine, mine kind of looks really pinky to me. So I'm going to come in and just clean my brush real good. And then I'm going to come in and just do another coat of red on top to kind of deepen it. But if you go too heavy handed, just remember that if you need it to spread out a little bit, you can add some water to it. And then this is looking a little bit darker or more, um, more abrupt. Maybe I want it to be a little bit more subtle. So I just clean my brush really well. And I'm just coming in with just my brush to see if I can soften up this transition a little bit. See if I can make it a little bit softer. Okay, I think I like that a lot better. It does look really dark in that corner though, it's strange. 
That's okay, we're gonna cover it up with black. I have another question. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little behind. No, oh, it's okay. Um, so after you did just the straight red, you made orange by mixing red and yellow together in one of the little pans. Yeah, well, you can do that if you want to. I kind of like mixing my colors on my canvas because it'll give you different kind of variations. Sometimes when I, I find sometimes when I mix my colors in my palette, then I'll try to do stuff like this and it just looks like bands. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if I do this, I see you, Cisa May. You gotta work on your blending, girl. I see you. So you gotta, you have to work a little bit fast because since this paint is water-based, it dries so quickly. And it it's so much easier when the two colors that you're trying to blend are both wet still. Does that help at all? Okay. Um, Yes. Sweet Katie. <laughs> Lauren, I feel like mine is really like blocky, like blue and then yellow. Right. And then I'm like, how did you so let me blend so nicely into the yellow in the let red? Let me see it, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kristen. It's clean. So it's super clean. Okay. What you need to do is take about 30% off on the cleanliness. And just okay. work on being like fast and furious, okay? Like like messy, yeah. Like embrace some mess. Okay. So how? So where do I go now from here? Like, do I wet the brush? Yep. You you want your brush wet, and let's see. So if I'm gonna do, look, I'll show I'll show you how crazy and messy you right. Ooh, you ready? Okay. So I've got a, a wet brush. I'm gonna grab a glob of blue. Here's some blue. Okay. I just okay. slapped it on there. Get my brush nice and clean. Oh, I got way too much paint on here. <laughs> so is the water gonna help blend it or do I need a new color? Water helps too. So I'll come in here with this yellow, right? Uh-huh. And then I'll just show you, because this, this you can slide down and then you gotta play around with it, okay? Okay. Here's my white. Okay. So the white is going to be my color. White helps blend it too. So now what you can you can do with a clean brush, okay? I'm going to come in here and kind of mix these two together on my canvas. You see? Nice and sloppy and kind of spread it out. Now, before I jump to my yellow and do the same thing, I have to clean my brush or else it's going to turn green. Okay. Okay. And I am, I'm just doing this really fast just to show again. Um, Y'all don't have to, to do this part. Here's my yellow. I'm coming straight into my white. <laughs> Y'all. And it is turning a little green here for me. So what I can do is grab myself some more white because I ran out. Messy, 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 messy. I'm just gonna scoop of white and kind of come in here and clean it up. But now you can see I kind of have that really, really harsh, crisp line right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe my brush, get it nice and clean. And then with no paint on it, just my, just my brush, I'm gonna come in here and kind of mend these two together. And then you can do it again. If you hold it closer on the side, you can kind of come in back and forth like this and kind of fuzz out the colors. Does that help at all? 
a little. I feel like I'm losing my yellow now. <laughs> it's all turned. Okay. It's okay because it's it'll dry and then you can add more yellow on top of it. Mm, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking like the tie back. It does look like the tie back though. It looks nice. You're surprised. <laughs> I like it. I so it's a it's a made up background, you know, so there's no I would like right, to there though. Right or wrong way. Yeah. I yeah. Take a nice Can vacation. A little sunset. No, in the environment. I'm just tagging you into photos. Perfect. Sure. So Kristen, if you can see now, like I keep messing with this and now my paint's coming off. So I'm literally just gonna leave it alone and I'll come back and work on it some more after it dries a little bit. And if you really want something to dry, what you can do, if you can see me in the, the Lauren Browning frames, you can pick it up and kind of shake it and that'll help it dry. So I'm just sitting here shaking it, but I don't want to make anybody ill. <laughs> Take a little pasta salad break. How are we doing though? We having fun? Can I get a head nod? Y'all enjoying yourselves? Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna put myself on mute for just a second so y'all don't hear me eating pasta salad. Hey Tara, let me see your painting. Oh, I see you, baby girl. Nicely done. I tried to work on blending the lines because mine was a little harsh too, but um, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> That's fine. Five times. <laughs> That's fine. 
but I like it. I think it's cute. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, is Rob painting with you? He's not. Is he working? No, he's going to a brewery with his friends. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay. I am going to take a beverage break and then I'll be right back. If you guys want to take a break, grab yourselves a drink, some snacks. Um, if you want to, you can go and you can clean out your water. In case you want to do some more blending, I'm going to clean out my water and then I'll be right back. Anybody have any questions? No? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've let my paint dry a little bit, I'll just kind of look at it and see if there are sections that I want to touch up. So you can see here, um, it's kind of kind of splotchy up here for me. So I'm just going to go back in 
with straight up blue on a clean brush and just kind of come in and clean it up a little bit. And like I said, if you're having issues um, kind of getting your paint to spread, you can always add just a little bit of water to your brush, grab some paint, and then come in and deepen that. Lauren. Yes. I lost all my yellow. <laughs> okay. So let it, let's let it dry. Okay. Cause I like your orange and I like your red. Yeah. And then if you let that dry real good, then we can come in with some, you can go over top of it with fresh yellow and then some white and it'll lighten it up. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah. Thank you. I know. I'll, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. The blending part is hard. <laughs> See, blending, yeah, it can be really hard. I have a lot of fun. I, I find blending to be a lot of fun. Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment, y'all. Who knows? I see your smile, Kristen. <laughs> she just went, wow. yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and then I'll kind of come in, I'm just kind of soften up this line a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit of white. You're going to erase, aren't you? Yeah. That this, if you can see, this didn't really work how I wanted it to. So I'm just going to come in with some water and I'll kind of come in right over top of it and soften it. But it does, yeah, it does get to a point where. You need to leave it alone and stop messing with it, which I have the hardest part with because I'll just mess with something until I don't like it anymore. And then I'm going to come down here one more time, see if I can show how I'm going to soften up this bottom line and kind of blend my yellow. So my brush, you can still see, is really blue and dirty. So get it nice and clean. And Katie, like you were saying, you can, if you want to, grab some yellow, put it on a clean spot on your palette, and then you can grab a scoop of white and kind of mix that lighter yellow if you want to. And just kind of get it to the color that you want it to be. So I think that looks about right. And then I'll come in over top here. touch up some of my yellow parts. Nicole, you might want to try that too when your yellow um, dries all the way. You can just kind of blend it, mix it on your palette, and then come in once everything's nice and dry. And since this blue is still wet up here, you can come in with a little bit of white and clean this up. If it starts to mix into a green that you don't like, you can wipe it off, come in with some fresh, clean white. And then once it gets to a point where you're happy with it, leave it alone. Paula. Thank you. That's exactly. <laughs> exactly what happened. Exactly. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, got my goozle. Woo. <clears throat> okay. Tara's writing a dissertation on her cell phone. <laughs> How's everybody else doing? We still having fun? We got any questions? Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a question for you. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm blending this bottom part here like correctly. It seems like it's like mine is just lighter than yours, or so I'm not sure if maybe I'm blending like I'm supposed to, or just for that red part. 
So the red was kind of was kind of tricky for me. I had to kind of play with it a little bit. So I, I did one part and I let it dry really well. And okay. then I added more red on top. Okay. Um, you can kind of see my orange section doesn't really show up very well on this camera. Okay. A, lot, a lot of this is camera related. I don't know if, if you can see me holding it up. It looks completely different in this versus this. So don't let this guy okay. deceive you. All right. <laughs> but you can, just like I did with my blending of my blue and my yellow, if you want to play and mix in, mix an orange that you like and kind okay. of cover that middle part, you can play with that too. Okay. But I, I think it looks nice and don't think you need to change anything. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm just, I'm really going to let y'all play with the colors as much as you want because we're getting ready to use just straight up black. <laughs> and there will be no mixing, no blending, no nothing. We're just working on our, on our foreground and our silhouettes. Okay, so here's the part where everybody gets super excited. I'm gonna tell you to stop painting and put your paintbrush in your water cup and let your background take a rest. Katie, Kristen, put your paintbrush down. <laughs> I see you, I see you. Okay, so <clears throat> this next part that we're doing show our example you got to make sure that your red's nice and dry okay because we're going to come in here with just straight up black so if you can see this is not a straight line okay so if you have a part on your canvas that you're not super thrilled with which you should be thrilled with all of it but that's beside the point um you can come in like this this is kind of patchy right here for me and this part may be a little patchy too so when you come in and put your landscape in, you can really kind of make it up as you go along, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and you can use whichever brush you'd like. Some people really like the nice pointy brush to kind of do this. I wanna make sure that we're kind of preserving this as much as we can for when we have to come in and do our, our grass. So you can use this little guy if you'd like to, or if you're feeling good about the brush that we've been using, you can use that one too. But I want everybody to stop and make sure that this is nice and dry before we do any of this, okay? So if you need to take a minute and just watch, if you need to get up and stretch your legs, kind of sh shake your painting and let it dry, please do. And I'm just gonna show you you got to be kind of like when we were doing our backgrounds, you got to be loosey goosey so that it's not super jagged. So I'm going to make sure that I have clean paper towel. I'm going to clean my brush. 
still got a little bit of blue, which it, that's not too much of a problem because the black will cover all of that up. But use this. And then I'm um, see how this guy looking a little beaten and battered, bless his heart. So I might just grab some water, give it a little TLC. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Little paint buddy, you're the best. Give it some love. And then I'll grab my black paint. Get a good corner. And then I've got one more clean spot on my palette. If you've run out of clean spots, you can just wipe it out with a paper towel or you can wash your palette in the sink with warm water and soap. But I'm gonna just dip my brush in some water, wipe off any excess. And then I've got just, just the top part of my brush, okay? And I'm gonna kinda come in and make up my landscape. So I'm holding it kind of like a pencil, right? And just nice and easy, I'll kind of gesture how I want my landscape to look. And I'm just making sure that my line is above my red paint. So, let's see here, kind of come in, clean this up. And then clean this guy up, make sure you can see it. And then once I've got my nice crisp line, I'm gonna fill in from this line all the way to the bottom with straight black, okay? Have any questions? Okay, put it on mute and I'm gonna fill this section in with black.
Okay, so now that we've got this part done, we're gonna have to let it dry because if you're like me and you touch your canvas all the time, then you'll end up looking like this. Yeah. And you'll touch up here and it'll smudge everywhere and it's not good. So what I'm gonna show you is using these, the teeny tiny pointed brush and the smaller square brush, flat brush, um, we're going to draw our cacti. So sometimes the paint bristles can be finicky. So if you wanna cheat and use a black Sharpie, you can, but it's paint and sip. So I'm gonna show you how to paint this. But literally, if you use a Sharpie, you won't be able to tell the difference. So bear with me, let's give the painting a try. And if you don't like that, then you can swap it over. The trick to this is to, when we're drawing our forms, start small because you can always make it bigger, but it's way harder to make it smaller. Okay, does that make sense? So we're essentially gonna, it's gonna kind of be like a, a stick figure cactus, right? So we'll just kind of like do the, the shapes and then we'll kind of come in with our paint brushes and beef them up, okay? So we're gonna start small and we're gonna make them beefy. And then we'll come in with our teeny tiny brush and do our grass, okay? All right. So just because mine looks like this doesn't mean yours has to. You can have one cactus, you can have seven of them, you can have three arms, it can have five. How, I mean, the world is your oyster. You make it up as you go along, make your happy little world, okay? So for this one, I think I'm gonna put one of my cactuses, I'm gonna put my big one over here. And I'm gonna grab my little, my little pointed brush and you can put it in your water to kind of rejuvenate it, bring it back to life because it's been in the package. You gotta be kind and gentle with the, these guys because if you press down too much or get rough with them, then they'll kind of fray and it, you won't have that tip to it, okay? I saw that. I saw you, I saw you, I saw that. Okay, so. With my black paint, I've just got a little bit on my brush because you can always add more. My canvas is still wet. I'm just going to kind of make sure my fingers are clean and I like to put my hands on my canvas to make sure it's sturdy. So I'm just kind of making my shape up. And now I'm going to start here and kind of sketch my lines for my cactus, okay? So this will be my main trunk. And then if you want it to be kind of symmetrical, you can come in and make kind of like a little pitchfork. <laughs> and then let's see. If you're having trouble with your paint gliding across your canvas, just remember a little bit of water will help you. And then you can come in here and add another one. And I think that'll be pretty good to start. But then what I'll do, is depending on the amount of control that you have, you can either stick with this guy and kind of trace it and then fill it in, or you can switch to this guy. So I'll show you with both, okay? So I showed you our little outline with this guy and then with my smaller flat brush, it's got a nice crisp flat. And I'll use that just a little bit on the very tip of it to make this a little bit more pronounced. But if you press down too much, it'll kind of fray out. So you gotta be nice and easy with it. Madam? Yes. My uh, yellow and orange and red area is still super wet. 
Okay. Um, is it okay just to go for it over top of it with its wet? Uh, no. Like no, no, no. I um, you should you should pick it up and do an old fashioned uh, shake it off session. Okay. It's dry. Um, if it's if it's ridiculously wet, you can hit it with a hair dryer, and that'll help speed it up too. But I'm afraid if you start doing this, then it's going to kind of mix and smudge everything, and we don't want that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody's got their heads down, working on their cactus. How we doing? We doing good? A little head nod, a little thumbs up, something. Where are my people at? Where you at? There we go. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so this is starting to get a little out of control for me. So I'm going to swap out from my flat brush to my smaller one. Just because I don't want it to get too out of control crazy. And then what I like to do at the bottom is I'll kind of make it wider at the bottom as it gets to the ground so that it doesn't just look like a stick sticking out of the ground. So kind of like if you were going to do a tree trunk, a similar kind of shape. And then if you can see, I don't know, it's right on the edge, but I've got a wild kind of paintbrush hair that keeps catching. So if you need to, you can just kind of take your scissors and trim just that extra piece to get it out of your way. And then your point is back. The same thing as when we were working on our sky. If you find that while you're working on this, the paint underneath is showing through, you can just get kind of like a base down and then you can go back over top of it later on once it dries. And then once I have my basic shape filled in, some of my lines are kind of fuzzy, so I'll come back in with my flat brush. 
grab just a little bit of paint and then you can kind of come in holding it like a pencil again and just really nice and easy clean up those lines a little bit And if you need to, you can always turn, flip your canvas around, give yourself a little bit more leverage. The nice thing about cactuses is that they're such a silly shape that there's no right or wrong way to make one. And then like I said, once you get to a good spot, leave it alone because if you keep messing with it, they get really scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to pick another spot and do another one. Make this guy little. You know, we're going to have to show yours to everybody, right? No. We're going <laughs> to show it to everybody. My roommate is doing one, but he's not doing the same thing that we're doing. And he's turned his into like a completely different scene. And it's really great. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. And then you're going to be like, what? Why didn't we do that one? <laughs> we'll save it for next time. The next, the next round. But yeah, you're using the same paints we are. You gotta fix the, the music though. Can y'all hear the music that we have playing in the background? No? Well, we tried, y'all. Well, we're enjoying it. We tried to add some ambiance. <laughs> Oh, I really like that. I can't. 
Okay, so I'm only gonna do two cactuses. And then I'm gonna show you, is it cactuses, cacti? Cacti. Here I am, more grammatical errors. And then we're gonna do some grass. Just kind of break up how harsh that, that line is at the bottom. I'll come in and kind of add some grass to it. So I like to do this with not very much paint on my brush, okay? So I'm not necessarily cleaning it, but I'm gonna wipe off a lot of the excess, excess paint. And then you can kind of come in and we're gonna start from like the bottom and go up. So it's nice, soft, light motions, okay? And you just kind of sketch in your grass. Like I said, if you don't, don't wanna do it this way, it works really well with the Sharpie. I just don't have one of those. There might be one in the drawer right now. Oh, okay. I'll show both of them. I kind of like doing it with, with the brush because you can come in and see your, your brush strokes and it'll show some of the background. Did you say no paint on the brush? No, oh, yeah, you do have paint. I'm just, you just wipe off the extra so it doesn't get globby on you. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Got your mute me again. I've not muted you yet, ma'am. I can though. I, the only Sharpie I have is silver. <laughs> oh, you should do that. Did grass go all the way across? If you want it to. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I put mine all the way across, but if you want to do it in little spurts, you can do that too. Hey, Lauren, can you repeat yeah. <laughs> everything you just said about doing the grass? So I've, I've got just a little bit of paint on my brush, not a lot, because if it gets too much paint, then when you try to do these nice, fine brush strokes, it'll be gloopy. So, you know, the technical term, gloopy. Um, and I'm just kind of holding it like a pencil again. And then you start like down here underneath your, your line. And then you do like a, a little flick up to make your, your grass strokes. And then you want to make them different heights. So some of them can be really short. Some of them can be longer. Because if you do it all the way across, then it's going to look like a like a weird kind of haircut situation. So you can see with this, these are a lot longer than these are. And it just adds a little bit more character to it. And Katie, I was saying, if you have a hard time doing it with a paintbrush, you can use a um, just a black Sharpie to do this as well. Okay. And that's just, you're just using the smallest brush with a little black paint on it? Yeah, my, uh, my pointed brush. Yeah. And then um, you don't you don't have to do the grass all the way across if you don't want to. You can do just like little patches. Thank you. 
stop with the grass because I can get a little go a little overboard with it and then it's like all of a sudden you just have another line <laughs> instead of it being grass so part that I do is add in these little paint flecks to make like a, a starry sky. So you can achieve this using all three brushes. It's kind of an experiment, but what you'll do is you're going to like kind of flick the white paint on it and don't get scared because it will get on your cactus and it will get down here and what you can do is you can if it's a lot you can just kind of wipe it off and then you'll fill the black back in does that make sense so I'll show you so I've got my painting I'm gonna get all my brushes nice and clean because sometimes I want some variation between them You're probably going to want to get out of the room when you start doing this. Okay. Okay. No, not yet. Well, I'll, I'll give you a fair warning. And those two are clean. This little guy looks rough. He's been beaten up. And then you just want to make sure that your white paint is clean. So I've got some blue in it, I've got some yellow, but I can kind of come in and get that out and get enough usable paint that is nice and clean white. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have an old toothbrush, you can use that too. But I'm just using what we have in our kit. You kind of want it to be dry, right? And your hands are going to get messy for this, so just make sure you've got a paper towel next to you. It's a dry brush. You ready? Here we go. It's going to get right on you. Okay. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of start flinging some paint. Great. Is that a cow? Yeah. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Another way you can do this, and this really makes a mess, so just be prepared, is you kind of use one finger as a brace, right? And you kind of go like this, and you're going to pop. Well, the stars. Mm -hmm. These are the stars. Okay. And this is where it, it really does get messy, but don't let it freak you out, okay? okay. Oh, I just skidded it right in the black paint. I don't want any of that. You done? That's awesome. You're finished already. Lauren. Yes. Oh, no. All right, what happened? <laughs> There's a white there. How, how did I fix that? That's okay. You can wipe it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like with, with my paper towel? 
Yeah, I kind of like it though. Like I have this guy, and I'm just gonna kind of pretend it's a shooting star. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, um, you gotta make sure that your brush is dry when you do this, or else it'll it'll be kind of like a a blobby star. And sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes sometimes you do. It's a nice variation, but try to make sure your brush is nice and dry. And Nicole, um, just start off with a little bit less paint on your brush and see if that helps. But I kind of just go back and forth and add this until I get happy with it. This part's the really messy part. It's my favorite part. So if you don't want stars, you don't have to do that either. And then here, Nicole, I'll show you. Because this has a lot. So I'll just kind of come in here. Because I'm just going to paint the black back in. Oh, I'll get my brush nice and clean. Grab some more black paint. Just like we did earlier, just go back in and cover this up in black paint. So when you wipe it down, is the paper towel wet? No, it's dry. Okay. Just do one one colored section at a time, Nicole. Hey, Lauren, I might have missed this. So if I flicked way too much white paint, like if it made a streak, I don't know if you can see that. How would you recommend getting rid of that? Does it, it looks like it's all in your blue, right, for the most yeah, part? Yeah, it is. So you can take your um, paper towel and kind of wipe it off a little bit, uh -huh. and then you can um go back over it with some blue but i've got some streaks too i kind of like them okay. I used to paint aspirin. I love your UFO. Thanks. It's so cute. I love how it went to UFO really quickly. Really quickly. <laughs> I gotta show y'all. Here's the one that um, my roommate did because he's a show off. 
<laughs> and I yeah, also do. <laughs> super, super casual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually looks great under it. It looks really great. Yeah, yeah. Dang, Andrew. Okay. And he just giggles and then walks away. It's fine. <laughs> we begged him to participate. Yes, yeah, so I twisted it uh, quite literally yeah, twisted his arm. Did, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's my fault, y'all. <laughs> but the cool thing about this is that he used everything that we just used. All the all the brushes, all the paint, the canvas, everything that went to you guys was used for this. So if you got another canvas like this and you had leftover paint and brush it, you can still use the brushes. You could paint something like this and then submit it to curator off duty, and it would it's eligible for an entry. So all of these that you're painting are eligible for curator off duty, but it's a you know this just giving you an example of. By having just these colors, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can show your UFO. Sure, you can tell me your UFO is just not the best thing. Talia did a UFO as well. I mean, I can't just like show it. Not show. <laughs> <laughs> like zoom in. Talia did a UFO. She did hers horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute that little UFO is, you guys. I feel so bad. You can you can enter it and just see it too. You should. As a COD staffer, you should put it in the COD. Let's put it in the COD. This is a little bit off. I mean, I see. <laughs> anyway, okay. I gotta stop messing with it, or else I'm gonna mess it up and not be happy with it. So you gotta let all that dry. But then what you can do is you can, I'm going to use that, that silver Sharpie and I'm going to come in in the corner and put my initials because after you finish your painting, you should always sign your artwork and be super proud of it and hang it up on your wall. So you got to sign your name on it, but you got to let it dry first. My left corner is nice and dry. Using a Sharpie works really, really well. You can use your paintbrush too. Just use kind of like a contrasting color in this black. But I just do like a really simple kind of, ta-da, LB. And then here, Nicole, I'll show you, like I don't like this white blob right here. Like that's, that's a little bit too much and I just noticed it. So I'll grab my paper towel and see if I can get it. It's, it's pretty much dry for the most part. I just kind of rubbed it and it smudged a little bit. See if I do just a little bit of water, what happens then? Not much, but if you get a clean brush, make sure it's clean because we've been using black. I'm going to just grab some red and then just kind of right over top of it a little bit at a time because you can always add more. And then I'll let this dry and I'll do one more just to kind of cover up the rest of that white. Does that help, Nicole? Okay, cool. Katie, does that help you too? Or did you miss it? 
Can you go over it again? You're There's talking about how to get rid of white stuff. Yeah, I had I had like a, a bigger white blob right here, so I kind of just rubbed it just that one spot with my paper towel. And then I made sure it was dry and I went over it with just the smallest amount of my paint. And then I'm gonna let this dry and I'll add just a little bit more so that it covers up that little blob. Okay. Okay. Kristen, how are we doing? Okay. <laughs> You know I'm gonna make you hold it up and show it to me at the end of it, right? We're all gonna take a group picture because we all are so excited. Hey, Lauren. Yes, what's up? We're getting ready to go, but we wanted to show you our pictures. Yes. Oh, Yay, they, they look awesome. Oh, those are great. <laughs> yes. Take some pic pictures, Christy, and send them to me. I Please. will. Awesome. You guys have fun. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.
to hear her. I'm not going to ask her. Are you doing another one? Yeah, Talia had two canvases and she was playing around, but she didn't like how green it turned. So now that it's dry, I'm just kind of showing that you can go right over top of it and kind of touch up spots if you don't like it. I like the green. She did not like the green. <laughs> All right, how we doing? How we feeling? Mine's too wet to do my cactus, so I've been playing with the rest of it, trying to get it to fit it. And this is what I've got. Oh, I think that looks really nice. I like the clouds that you added at the top. If you want to, um, you can hit it with a, a hair dryer on like the, the cool or low setting, and that'll help it dry too. If you want to add your um, cactus in, yeah, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And then this is this is recording, and then um, Lacey will make it available for viewing. So if you get stuck on any of the steps, 
um, you can review the video as well. Sure, thanks. You're welcome. This has been fun. Good, I'm so glad. Because I consider myself very unartistic. <laughs> I think everybody has the ability to do some paintings. They just got to give themselves the credit to do it. Isn't that right, Kristen? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my cactuses are a little skinny. <laughs> Let me see. I like the, um, and my grass looks terrible. <laughs> no, I think it looks great. It's a little baby one. Listen, if you Google cactus, I guarantee you're going to find one that looks just like that. Yeah, I kind of did Google a little bit to see some different yeah. ones. Yeah, mine are, mine are a little, uh, I like it, like not asymmetrical. They're, they're chunky. Mm -hmm. I kind of <laughs> like, like it though. <laughs> And the white specks was a really good idea. Yeah, I have a lot of fun doing stuff like that. It gets messy, but I like to show different techniques that people mm -hmm. can use to get different effects for the, their paintings. Yeah, I feel like it gives everyone like a little character. <laughs> yeah. LB, how we doing? Oh yeah, that good? Are you gonna hold it up and uh, smile for the photo? You know you're gonna, you gotta love it. Don't fix it, love it. Are you on mute? <laughs> this is Andrew, if you can see him. Andrew is the one that did the UFO painting. Say hi, yep, oh, hi yeah. Andrew. Is that Lacey's man? Yes, yeah, Lacey's husband. LB, let me see it. <laughs> You're still on mute, mom. Nicole, can I see yours? Yes. Nicely done. Okay, so about 10 till eight. What I like to do is um, I'm gonna turn my camera off and then do, let's see if I can remember how to do it. FaceTime. Okay, here I am. Hi. And then I'll turn this guy off. Or maybe I'll get even well, you and Lacey, you you'll come in my frame, right? That's all the photo. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. I'll turn this guy off. What I like to do is in my hand, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, can you see mine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to wear a white shirt. Not, <laughs> not, not my best choice, yeah. <laughs> but what I like to do is everybody kind of hold up their piece and just do a smile. And then I'm still kind of new to Mac, so I have to figure out how to um, do the screenshot again, because Sarah always has to tell me. <laughs> Option shift three. Put it up there. No, do it. No, 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 no. Control, control command four, and you'll draw like a little outline box of the whole oh, screen. Maybe I'm not holding one up then. Okay. You want me to do it? No, 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 no. I want your piece to be in it, but I can uh, do it. I can do it so that everybody's in it. Ma'am, I just want you to sit there and go, hi, look at my painting that I did, and then I'll do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Are you, can you hold up your, um, yes, your horizontal one? Yeah, Andrew, you want to get in this and hold up your UFO? Andrew, you got it. Andrew's a really good sport. I'm it Trust you. me. I'm married to you, so I have Just taste. <laughs> move my head. So, Tara, you said control shift four? Um, control command four. It's not <laughs> working. Control Command Four. Look, go down. Ready? It still doesn't work. Now go down. All right, every, everybody, get ready because once I figure this out, we're gonna have oh. one shot. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, ready? Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Kristen? <laughs> say one, two, three, say cheese. 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 Yay. I got it. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I was working Okay, on that. perfect. Y'all wet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's Peyton sip. In a nutshell, congratulations. You now have your very own look. Oh, Eight by ten. You can put it in a frame and then put it up on your wall, and then you can take pictures and send it to Lacey. She can send it to me. And I'll probably put it up on my um, Instagram at Hoop Canvas Wheel because I love doing these little guys. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to send Olin Hall an email and they can get in touch with me. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Thank you for spending your Friday night with me. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, and I'll see you guys hopefully for next time. Yay. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.